forever pull your wine. My, my. She ain't paying me no never mind. My, my. My, my. Today was a special day today for me and the wife, especially the wife. She she got a call from ABC Network to appear on Good Morning America. And uh, she was so excited about it. She couldn't tell too many people about it. But they flew her out to New York and and they did an interview. And I wanted to take the time and just watch the interview with my followers. And instead of me telling the story today, I want y'all to listen to my wife's story because she has a story to tell as well. And and as I sit here and play this video, I'm just going to sit back and just just take in the message. So y'all ready? Here we go. We're back now with more in our Faces of Breast Cancer series. Today, we are meeting one woman who turned tragedy into triumph. Tia Tom Tomlin Harris was a single woman living in Atlanta when her world was turned upside down. Here's a look at her journey. At just 38 years old, Tia Tomlin Harris's life changed forever. It's the reality now. During a routine self-breast exam, she discovered a lump that led to a terrifying diagnosis, triple negative breast cancer. So Tia embarked on the fight of her life, going through eight rounds of chemotherapy, surgery, and six weeks of radiation. It's round three of the fight. I'm on my way to my treatment. She was declared in remission in 2015. Four years later, more devastating news. The cancer had not only returned, but had spread to her lymph nodes. While she had surgery to remove the cancerous cells, she made the decision to forego chemo and radiation, instead transforming her diet and lifestyle. You see, I got my carrots ready. I'm cutting them all up. Then, in 2021, things began looking up. Tia found love, got married, and was finally, again, declared in remission. A trying journey that led to her ultimate calling. Tia now runs a nonprofit called My Style Matters, where she educates women battling cancer on healthy lifestyle practices through workshops, support groups, and self-care kits. A beacon of light during their darkest of moments. And a Tia, story. yeah, beautiful story. And Tia is joining us now, along with, of course, Dr. Darian. And Tia, this has been a 10-year journey for you. How how are you feeling now? That's the first question, of course. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. Um, it has been quite a journey, but I just thank God that I'm I'm still here and I'm able to do the work that I'm called to do. Okay. So mm -hmm. speaking of that, tell us a little bit more about My Style Matters. How did it come to fruition, and what's the journey been like for you? Yeah. So My Style Matters came about when I was going through treatment. Um, I started to go to support groups and recognize that they weren't anyone that looked like me. Mm -hmm. um, no young women, because I was diagnosed under the age of 40. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't see any young women. I knew we existed, but where were we um, when I would go to these support groups? And I didn't see black women. And so God just put on my heart to be the Tia for other people that I needed for myself. And mm -hmm. so I started a sisterhood called My Breast Years Ahead. Um, we now have close to 700 women in our sisterhood. Wow. And then I started My Style Matters. You know, when I look at your work, it's important to acknowledge lifestyle and diet modifications. They don't replace chemotherapy, but they can maximize the quality of life. So when you talk about My Style Matters, what does that provide? Yeah, so My Style Matters, we provide non-toxic care kits. We call them our kit kits. Care, care, care packages. And so with that, um, we provide all items that are personal care items and household items that don't have the harmful chemicals uh, found in them. So we really um, carefully source them and vet them to make sure that what we're providing um, is easily accessible because a lot of women that we serve are low income. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure it is something that's accessible but, accessible, but also um, is healthier for them. We also provide food to fight um, boxes. So it's a six week uh, produce delivery service for these ladies. Mm -hmm. And coupled with that, we have education as well. So we have a Safer Black Beauty program where we're teaching them about the skincare products. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, we also have our Food for Life, which is a plant-based nutrition program. And then we have our Breast Health Matters, where we're educating teen girls and women about breast health. Lovely. Well, guess what? You've given so many women <laughs> reason to live and a reason to keep going. And we got some messages from you, from some special people who adore you. Take a look. Tia, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I cannot express 
the gratitude that I have for all of your hard work, just knowing that you are that type of person made me become a better person. You have truly, truly made the biggest impact on my journey. And so I can only imagine with all of the women's lives that you've touched, just the amount of impact that you've made in their lives as well. You have changed the lives of so many women in ways that you may never know. So today I just want to make sure that I give you your flowers and say thank you for being my pink sister and my shero. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's catching yeah. you feel good. Do you feel like you're living out your purpose? Yeah. Um, you know, before I was diagnosed, I was feeling like I was missing something in my life. I was just working, going mm -hmm. home, paying bills and hanging out, having a good time. But I felt like something was missing and it wasn't until um, I discovered that you know, breast cancer happened. And so that's when I realized, hey, this is your purpose. This is mm. what you're supposed to be doing. Um, I call myself traveling and enjoying life. And I discovered at that time that not only was I just existing, but then I started to live, but I wasn't Come living on. with purpose. And so God has just given me an opportunity to live with purpose. That and is, so I'm oh, here. that's so profound. Mm -hmm. You're going to make me tear up. So really our friends at Dr. Bronner's this. Magic Soaps heard about your story and they wanted to do something for you and for all those you serve. So they're donating $2,500 worth of Dr. Bronner's Magic Soaps products Woo! to put into those kit cancer kits that you are making. Check it out, team. You got to yeah, look check at it. Out. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. But wait a minute. Of course, there's more. That's not all. Dr. Bronner's also donating $2,500. $500 to My Style Matters, wow. so you can help oh, impact you. these women like Thank you have. You. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> we see oh, through the tears, no. but how do you feel? Overjoyed. Mm. Overjoyed. It, it's been a tough journey, you know, going from being diagnosed to losing my job to sleeping on the couch to, you know, being diagnosed again. Um, I'm just blessed. You I'm are just loved blessed. and appreciated. Ooh. Thank you, thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That that was beautiful, and and you're right, Tia. You are blessed. Um, I love you. It's a beautiful story. I've heard this story, and every time I hear it, it it touches my heart, and I just want to hug you and and love you because you deserve it. Thank y'all for taking the time to listen to this story, not from Poya Wang, but Mrs. Poya Wang, Tia Tomlin Harris, who had a chance to tell her story to the world. And I'm sure that was just as exciting for her as the world needed to hear it. So uh, that's another episode of Poya Wang podcast with a special guest, the wife, special guest. So to everybody that uh, supports My Style Matters, Please continue to support it. If you like to support, please search her, mystylematters.org. Uh, any support will help. Thank y'all, and y'all have a blessed day. Hot sauce on my boyo. Gotta have it. Hot sauce on my boyo. You know I need it.